It's the Iceman Friday, January the 20th, and I've got another free NBA pick tonight. Before I get to that, let me remind you, you can get all my free picks and promotions at my website, that's jessieshul.com. Just enter your email address at the top of the page. I sent out my newsletter yesterday, and that included my top five player prop bets for this weekend's NFL games. I also published an article yesterday that many of you might be interested in. In the article, I noted that the total for the Packers-Falcons game is over 60 points. Now that's 10 points higher than we've seen in most playoff games this year. Um, it seems like the bookmakers have failed to account for this when putting out the odds for player prop bets. Now it seems clear to me that with uh, such a projected high score, there's going to be more yards, more receptions, more touchdowns to go around, but the prices just don't seem to reflect that. In fact, uh, one example is Julio Jones. They were actually charging a higher price on Julio Jones to score a touchdown against the Seahawks than they are against the Packers. And uh, I think this is a mistake that could be taken advantage of. Interesting read. You can check that out at my website. Let's get right to the free pick. We've got another total tonight in the NBA, a big game between the Warriors and the Rockets. Now, is this a revenge spot for the Warriors, who lost to the Rockets at home a few weeks back? Or is it a letdown spot after they blew out the Thunder? I don't know about that, but what I do know is the total, 237 points, just looks a little bit too big to me. Of course, uh, the last time these two teams played, Houston won 132 to 127, but that game required overtime, and when you look at it, in regulation time, they only scored 228 points. Um, the last 10 meetings between these two teams, not one of those games has gone over this tonight's total in regulation. Also, uh, the Warriors have gone under the total in 10 of their last 11 road games. And all that being said, the highest total in 10 years, I'm not going to take the over, I'm going to take the under. Good luck, and we'll see you tomorrow.